Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core 2.2 web API application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we tested our API methods for registration and login using Postman. And in this video tutorial, we will create another controller class which we will use to manage CRUD operations for our products. Since we are going to implement CRUD functionality on our products, we would need to have a controller class where we will write the required methods. So first thing you want to go and do is go ahead and create a product controller. So add a new file in your controller. Go to ASP.NET Core, select an Web API controller class and call this as product. and that should be it now we have our product controller that inherits from our controller class and now here we will create the methods required to edit delete update and add our products so let's do that so the first thing that we want to do is make sure that when we call the action methods we call them using their names so you know the drill so let's go ahead and add our action attribute over here and then what we want to do is change this to get products. So this will get us a list of all products in our database. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and change this I enumerable to I action result. And the reason to do that is because we want to handle exceptions like send HTTP errors. If it's unauthorized and unauthorized, then we cannot do that if we are returning an I enumerable type of uh, result because an I enumerable type of result will just print the output in the format that was string on your browser. But whereas in I action result, we will have action, we will have access to different HTTP responses like OK, unauthorized, and so on. So if the let's say your user is not authorized to get the list of products, then we can return an unauthorized response. But if he is authorized, then we can return an OK response. So that's the reason why we will change the I enumerable to I action result. And here what we want to do is with the OK response, we want to send a list of products to our client. And to get the list of products, we need to get it from the database. Therefore, we would need to first go ahead and create an dependency injection object that will go and get the values of products from the database. So let's do that. So let's create a private read only application DB context object call this as underscore db and add the missing reference since we already have a service that is running in our startup class that will help us to connect to the application db context and now only we have to do is initialize it using dependency ingestion so let's use our constructor and then create an object of application db context and call this as db and all we want to do here is underscore db is equal to db now we will have access to all the entities in our database using this object call as underscore db so underscore db dot the entities that we want to access now is our product entity so let's go ahead and use products and then the next thing that we want to do is so it will get you all the products and store it in the product entity then we want to convert it to a list and return it to our client that's it so in this way we will be able to return a list of products to our client we have not yet implemented authorization or authentication so that we will do in our upcoming videos for now we will just create all these required methods and then test them and make sure that they are working fine so for now we don't have any values 
or any data in our products table it's empty so therefore in order to get and display the result we would need to first go ahead and add something some data in our products table so let's go to azure data studio add some products and the id will be auto generated so just have to hit run so that should be it now what we want to do is go to our application run this to access our products api we will need to go to api forward slash the controller name which is product forward slash the action method name which is get products so it doesn't matter if it's uppercase lowercase you can use all lowercase as well so it's not case sensitive just hit enter and as you see now here you will see the information being displayed as the data from the database that is converted into a list and you can see it over here so that's the same data test data that we added in our database so let's say if i add another uh, a product and run this query now and now if I refresh this I should see another product so that's it for this video tutorial where we created our first product controller that is to get a list of all products in the next video tutorial we will create the remaining controllers required to manage our products